Hey everyone, it's Follow Myth, bringing you a guide series on optimizing your start on survival mode. We'll be staying within Sanctuary and exploring some game-changing exploits, early access to high-valued items, must-have perks and more. This series is being played on vanilla survival mode with no moss or creation club add-ons. For all intents and purposes, I'll be using a separate character to display some of these glitches and exploits. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the perks. This build is pretty basic and has essential perks to give you a solid start. We'll put 6 points on strength, giving us strong back, adding 25 plus carry weight. Every point in strength will give you 10 pounds of additional carry weight as well. We'll be needing the extra carry weight much later when we take a big detour to buy the best weapons and armor in the game. Although I'm not putting any points on perception at this time, there are some great perks here, like Locksmith or Demolition Expert. You'd want to get these perks at some point later. Next, we put 4 points on Endurance, plus an additional point that I'm going to get later when I pick up the Your Special book, and that will get us to Aqua Girl. This is a must have because you take no radiation damage in water, and we avoid using Rad Away and Rad X, which brings illness or weakness to your stats that can raise the likelihood of infections and other nasty debuffs. For Charisma, we get 3 points to get Lone Wanderer. We take 15% less damage and get 50 plus carry weight when you venture without a companion. Dogmeat, however, doesn't count as a companion and he offers a bit of extra carry weight as well. We then go 7 points on Intellect to get Chemist. This allows us to craft poison cult traps which we'll use later to purchase legendary weapons and armor. Crafting these in bulk will get you a ton of XP as well. For agility, I went 2 points to get us Commando, giving additional damage on automatic weapons which will come in handy when we get Spray and Prey from Cricket. Pairing this up with Demolition Expert makes this one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Agility has a lot of OP perks that are useful in survival mode, like Sneak. Getting a few ranks on this perk will allow you to walk over floor-based traps without activating them. Lastly, we get Idiot Savant, which grants you an 11% chance to get 3 times the XP, but each point you have on Intelligence will lower that chance by 1%. It's still very efficient, even with 7 points on Intellect. You have 2 chances to set up your perk build at the beginning of the game with the Vault Tap Rack and before exiting the Vault. To get more value out of Vault 111, put all your points on Intellect for extra XP. You'll have another chance to redo your perks before exiting the Vault. There are several essentials you want to get before stepping out of the Vault, such as Nate's Ring, valued at 200 caps. Carry weight shouldn't be an issue right now, so loot everything, especially the bottles. They're very important and we can fill them up with purified water in this cafeteria room. You'll also find the Red Menace holotape in this terminal. In this room, you'll find a 10mm pistol along with some ammo and steam packs. You'll also find the cryolator behind the master level lock. You can, however, get this a lot earlier by using an exploit. Get Dogmeat and bring him to this room, closing the door behind. Loot everything, then get dog meat inside and tell him to fetch. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. Because the cryolator is now the only item in the room, dog meat has no choice but to retrieve that for you. Make sure you kill every roach and collect their meat to cook later. There's an additional 10mm ammo in this vault room, along with a vault suit as well. There is another vault suit in the other cryo room. Right before exiting the vault, we can change our perks again. As soon as you exit the vault, loot the trailers, then the yellow crates, first aid kits and everything you can get your hands on. We're gonna go straight to Sanctuary Hills because we're very squishy and vulnerable at this point. The enemies in the surrounding areas can easily one-shot you. Speak to Consword and pass his speech check. It's a guaranteed pass, so don't worry about Charisma. He offers to help clear the butterflies in the nearby houses, so use him if you need to. Claim the workshop and build a bet to save your progress. 
If you have the workshop DLC, you can set up these drinking fountains that can give you purified water. Next, we'll revisit our pre-war house to get Grognak the Barbarian magazine and the Your Special book, bringing us to the next exploit. For this to work, you need to have 10 points already on a stat. Take a cam or consumable that reduces that stat, giving you a temporary debuff. In this case, I can take a beer and reduce my intellect by 1, then use the book to bring that back to 10. Once the debuff wears off, I'll have 11 intellect. You can up your stats up to 12 by collecting the corresponding bubble head as well. There are a few more roaches in the houses down the sanctuary bridge. They're a bit harder to kill than the ones in Vault 111, so be careful. The 10mm ammo isn't as abundant right now, so opt to use the pipe pistol for these low level encounters if you can. There is a trash can by the bridge where you can always find grenades. On the opposite side, leading to a roundabout, we'll find a root cellar behind this house. You'll find a lot of pre-war food, aluminum junk, tin cans, purified water and 3 gold bars. These gold bars will sell well later on when we have the charisma and perks to up the sell value. Likewise, you can use the duplication glitch and make hundreds of these. The duplication glitch works by popping up the scrap and store menu almost simultaneously. Select the item you want to duplicate, press the scrap and store buttons a few milliseconds apart, prompting both menus to pop up. Getting the timings right can be tricky, but it's a fast way to get materials and duplicate high-valued items. Something that I personally like to do is set up a separate container with valuables. As you progress the game, you'll have to establish a base further south and be on the move with your valuables and such. Take your time and scrap and collect as much junk as you can. Scrapping the majority of junk here will leave you around a thousand wood and a thousand steel. With the wood we've collected, we can spam hundreds of wooden posts, giving you 3 XP per post. With Idiot Savant, you will be getting extra XP, allowing you to level up super fast. We'll save the steel to craft Poison Cold Drops once we have the Chemist perk. That'll level you up as well. There are a number of saves, pre-war cash, and cap stashes across Sanctuary Hills. You will end up with a sizable amount of valuable items and good amount of caps. Lastly, you can set up a workstation near the bridge to save on walking time since we don't have fast travel. Opening any working station will grant you access to the workshop. You can get creative and set up a little base by the bridge for the minimet in Concord later on. Anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.